Hey guys, welcome to the next episode. Today I'm going to show you how to use Kepler wallet and I'm going to tell you what is this wallet and what crypto can you store on it. And before we begin, remember that in the description of this video you will find links to Telegram channel and Telegram group, so feel free to join. And now let's start. First of all, maybe let's find Kepler. Kepler can be found on Google, all you have to do is type Kepler and then the first result should be result from Chrome Store because Kepler is an extension like Metamask and Kepler extension will work only on Chromium based browsers so for example Chrome, Brave or Vivaldi. And Kepler is just like Metamask wallet but unlike Metamask Kepler is used for cryptocurrencies based on Cosmos ecosystem and as you know Metamask is used for cryptocurrencies based on Ethereum. So this is the main difference and if you use Metamask you will find that it's pretty similar. So once we find Kepler we just add it to Chrome or Brave or whatever browser you are using. Once you click add it will check if everything is okay with your browser and then add it as the extension of your browser. Once it's added, this button will change into remove from Chrome and in the right top corner you'll see Kepler extension. So like I mentioned before, Kepler is equivalent of Metamask for cryptocurrencies based on Cosmos ecosystem. So those cryptocurrencies could be Cosmos of course, which is Atom, and then we've got Kava, Secret Network, Iris, and so on and so on. I'll show you some of them later on. So right now, once we installed Kepler, let's click over here on this icon over here and I will show you how to create your account. So once you click over here, you will see a website like this. We can sign in with Google or we can create the account, import existing account or import a ledger. So in this example, I'm just going to create new account. So we click over here and once we do this, we will see something like this. So over here we have our mnemonic seed phrase and we can choose 24 words or 12 words. 24 words of course is more secure than 12 words, but 12 words is also extremely secure so it's not that big of a difference at the current power of the computers because if anyone would try to brute force attack or break our 12 words phrase that would take them probably millions or billions of years. So let's say in this example I'm just going to choose 12 words mnemonic seed phrase. So very important thing to mention here. This mnemonic seed phrase is the way for you to recover your wallet in case, in case for example your computer breaks or you delete Kepler by accident or there is any other instance where you lost access to your wallet. In that case this mnemonic phrase that was generated for you will allow you to recover your wallet. So without this phrase, everything that is on the wallet is basically lost because no one will be able to help you. So make sure you save this phrase in few secure locations, write it on the piece of paper, hide it in your uh, safety box, maybe hide it in the safety box in a bank, one in a safety box in a house or, or however you want to manage it. Just make sure you have several different copies and you store them in different locations, secure locations, because like I mentioned before, this is crucial when it comes to recovering your account, your wallet in the future. And basically this mnemonic seed phrase is like a connection of your login and password into one. This mnemonic seed phrase is like uh, your private key encrypted into easy to remember words. So you can also try to remember those words. So once you save it, in this example I'm just going to copy it. But once you save it, you can move to the next step. Let's say I'm going to create an account and that name will be test. Then we need to enter the password that we want to use. This password will be used on a daily basis to log into our Kepler account. Once we type the password, we can click next. And then we will be asked to confirm that we saved our mnemonic seed phrase. So right now we need to press those words in the right order. And if we press this in the wrong order, register will not activate. So as you can see, it's not activated. 
because it's wrong order and if I put it in the right order, register button automatically activates. So this checks that you wrote down the correct phrase and you will have access to recovering your account in the future. So we hit register and as soon as we do this, our account is being created, our wallet is already created, we can click done and we are automatically logged in on our Kepler account. So we need to just click in the right top corner over here on our uh, icon of Kepler. And as you can see, I'm already logged in. And now let me explain you what you can find over here. First of all, over here under the name of our account, we can find the public address of our account. So if we want someone to send us Cosmos, we need to copy this account. All you need to do is click over here. And then our friend or whoever else can send us crypto to this address. Also, if you want to send your Cosmos, for example, from Binance or any other exchange to your wallet, to your uh, private wallet, you can just put in this account over there, this wallet address, and then your Cosmos will be sent from Binance or any other account to this wallet. And very useful thing over here is that the correct address will have a word Cosmos in front of it. So like you can see over here for Cosmos, it's Cosmos. But like I mentioned before, you can also store other cryptocurrencies based on Cosmos on this wallet. All you need to do to do that is click over here and then you can swap to other cryptos. So let's say Kava will have Kava in the front of the address. So now you know if you're sending, for example, crypto from exchange that the correct address will have Kava word in front. You just need to copy this, paste it there, and then you can send it over here. It will show up on your wallet. Same with any other crypto over here. Secret network will have secret. Uh, Akash network will have Akash in front of it and so on and so on. Different networks will have different word in front of it. So this is your public address if you want to send crypto to this account. You can also click deposit over here and it will automatically generate QR code for you and whoever wants to send you crypto can just scan this code and automatically send crypto to this address. Another thing would be sending. To send you need to press this button over here. At the moment I don't have any tokens, uh, any atoms on my account so I cannot press it but it pr basically works like in Metamask so I'm not gonna explain this. Another very useful thing would be clicking over here and then over here we have the name of our account and we can add more accounts if you want or if we for example lost our seed phrase but we still have access to our Kepler we can click on three dots and then hit view mnemonic seed and this will show us the mnemonic seed so we can write it down again. If you want your Kepler to be in a different language you can click over here you have settings and then you can choose language over here and currency in which the value of the cryptos that you're holding will be visible in your Kepler account. And Kepler works very similar to Metamask. So for example, if we choose Cosmos over here, we can stake it for 9% per year. All we need to do is press stake if we have any Atom on our account. The same goes for Kava, for example, if we switch to Kava. Over here, we can earn 20% per year in Kava for staking. And now let me show you how this interacts with websites that support Kepler. One of the websites that support Kepler is called wallet.kepler.app. And over here on this app, we can stake Cosmos, Kava and Secret Network and any other currency that we see on the left side over here. So as you can see, since I'm logged in to my Kepler account, it automatically connected me to this website so you don't have to click anything. If it doesn't connect you automatically, you will see a button connect to Kepler wallet or something like this on some of the websites. So have that in mind that sometimes it will connect you automatically and sometimes you will have to click connect wallet. But basically it works exactly the same as it works with Metamask. So if you have any experience using Metamask, this will work pretty much the same. And now if you would like to stake, for example, Cosmos, all you need to do is click Cosmos and then you have option to stake or governance. So let's hit on stake and over here you will see a list of validators. So all you need to do is choose the right validator for you, hit on manage and then over here you can hit delegate and delegate as much Atom as you want to stake. 
just make sure you read the note because uh, staking for some cryptocurrencies will lock your funds for 21 plus days and you will need 21 days to unstake them as well so make sure before you stake that you stake the amount that you will not need for at least a month and when it comes to Kepler, that would be it for today. Please let me know in the comments if this video was helpful, if you managed to create your Kepler account and remember to hit thumbs up, subscribe our channel and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching.